Joining us now to discuss everything that is going on across the country, Dave Phillips, the Environment Canada's senior climatologist. Dave, thank you as always for joining us. Thank you, Roger. Nice to be with you. It is a, an interesting mix. A mix Here in Toronto, we had rain downtown in January, which is insane. Vancouver, Victoria, they're at minus 10, minus 12 for the lows. What's going on? Well, Roger, I mean, it's been a wicked week of weather across the country, and everybody has been affected by this. Uh, it's two, two months later than it should have been, and that's probably one of the reasons. And, and then, Roger, it came just all at once. I mean, there was no sort of easing into it, no kind of acclimatizing to what the uh, winter was. We had just kind of false spring or fall, and then all of a sudden, boom, this week uh, uh, or winter. And as I say, everyone's affected from coast to coast to coast. It's essentially cold out west. I, and, and certainly it's sort of somewhat in between here in the east, but the cold is coming here in the east. And I think, Roger, we've seen sort of the, the kind of the waning of, of El Nino. That has been the breeze that has been blowing across the country through the fall mm -hmm. and, and, to February, and December particularly, and early January, and then it just sort of relaxed. And then it allowed the, the cold Arctic air, which was poised to come down, it just rushed down and filled all the nooks and crannies and, and everybody's feeling that, well, okay, this is the second coldest country in the world in the snowiest, and we're beginning to see the, the proof of that uh, this week. So, so it really is, um, uh, and it's not just one part of the country. We've all got this kind of misery from coast to coast to coast, and it comes in different, different types. Uh, we have the cold out west and the wind mm -hmm. chill. I mean, I saw Edmonton this, uh, yesterday morning had a, a, a minus, um, I think it was a minus 46, wind chill of minus 58. Roger, I mean, that will freeze flesh in, in a minute or two, and then it's going to be cold today, and then, my gosh, and a week from now, we'll see some moderation and it'll be it'll be sort of like a, a one week or a one and a half week wonder that we've had. So we see some moderation out west. But my gosh, even even Vancouver, I mean, I, I've never seen a wind chill of minus 24. I mean, that's downright dangerous for a city like that. Absolutely. And then by uh, by next uh, Friday, it'll be plus seven and rain in Calgary, minus 36 today. Well, it'll be near zero come a week from now. So there is some relief in sight. And but boy, it's been a tough week and a tough few more days to come. Now, El Nino, we've had that warm stretch because of El Nino. Is El Nino to blame for like the, the record colds that we're seeing now, the record cold temperatures? No, El Nino is just a Pacific breeze. It, it's a tropical breeze. So it brings the kind of warmth that we saw, almost the cancellation of winter in Canada for the first, uh, first half of winter. We're coming up to the halfway point. And boy, I, I think it's not been too bad if you can just say, well, we've been brutalized by one week. Uh, and, and not uh, not three months. So so so. But El Nino is essentially a, a warmer wind. But what is re it's it sort of relaxed and just sort of uh, didn't didn't blow. And, and sometimes that happens in an El Nino year. You can get some cold weather. And this is this cold Arctic air that came over from Siberia. Some people call it the polar vortex. It's just it's just cold air, Roger. And and it's very thick and heavy. It fills all the nooks and crannies. And then of course when you have the the, the cold and then some of the mm -hmm. warmth around, like we're seeing in eastern Canada, where we had more rain than snow in the Toronto area, then, you know, the warm and the cold get together and it produces wild winds. And so we've seen some very strong winds that can make the wind chill quite, quite dangerous. And here in the east, we're seeing some blowing snow, drifting snow, uh, and, uh, but, and the rain transitions over to snow. But in the meantime, you get some ice pellets. So quite treacherous. It's mostly rain in Nova Scotia but strong winds, and then high surfs. I mean, uh, storm surges, which could be a lot of uh, erosion around around the coastline, uh, very strong winds in, in uh, Newfoundland. Roger, nobody has escaped this. Uh, it has all affected all Canadians, and that's the big conversation now is, wow, what a change in the weather, and we've seen that this week. Does that mean, is, is winter here now? Are we, are we locked in for the next little while? Well, I knew you were going to ask that, and my sense is that I looked at the forecast, our forecast for the end of January and February. And Roger, it shows for most of the country warmer than normal. So I think El Nino is coming back. The only area, which I think is a good news for people in Ottawa, um, it's showing it's kind of cooler than normal over the next uh, uh, a few weeks. 
which would allow that ice to grow on the Rideau Canal and in time for Winterlude or the Quebec Carnival. So I think there is some some good news in spite of the fact that we've had some so pretty uh, grim news that we've seen this uh, this week. So I, I think winter is halfway over, and I don't think we've been really terribly brutalized for the for the entire season. So, but my sense is that we're going to see uh, some warmth in the West, which will allow them to uh, to come out outside out, outside and 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 enjoy, and maybe some skiing because there's been some snow and cold. They've been able to make snow. So I think that it, it may be this kind of of winter weather, there'll be some good news from it rather than just all bad news. Okay, we'll take it. Dave Phillips, Environment Canada's senior climatologist, thank you for joining us today. Thank you, Roger.